Hello guys. Uh, uh, good evening guys. Dito sa Australia. Good evening. Uh, ngayon guys, uh, I would like to read for you the portion of the book, Survival Instinct of a Woman. Uh, which is uh, written by, Sophie, by MJ Ryerson. Okay? Uh, ito guys, uh, uh, nung nasa Hong Kong na ako, and then I'm going back to the Philippines. Uh, I'll read it to you now, okay? Yes, I, I considered this was going to be a long trip between the plane and the taxi ride home. I was not sure when I get another chance for nourishment. I'd like to have my dinner here, much more convenient. We each had a chicken with asparagus and rice noodles, <clears throat> plus salad and even dessert. We eat slowly and from time to time glance at each other, smiling. I feel awkward because this time he looks at me and my mouth was full and it was impossible to smile politely. At one point, the plane hit some turbulence and I have to hang onto my seat, trying not to show how scared I was really was. Manny held my hands, which was much warmer than my cold clammy hand i spoke it's okay no worries i knew i needed to learn how to be brave and trust myself only then i could live my life and find joy that god intended for me as i wipe away my tears of fears money turned to me and laughed i didn't realize that you were that scared he could see me writing something on my pad he tore the page out and handed it to me it is my number in manila please call me anytime if when you find if you feel the time to write for me and meet me with your parents i was amazed on how low Fresh sure he was being with me. Over the last couple of days, he had become a changed man. My only fear now is how long was it going to last. I accepted the piece of paper and stuck it in my pocket. Just I feel the plane descent. Use your seatbelt. Light come, comes on. And the captain spoke over the loudspeaker informing us that we have landed soon. That we will be landing soon. Looking out the a tiny window, I could see the view from above was spectacular. In the darkness of the night, I could make out, make out the straight light cars line up bumper to bumper and the light of the impending runway. I could feel the descent in my gut and then realize as we got closer to the ground that we are really were traveling at 400 miles an hour. The plane jumped and bumped as the wheels made contact to the tarmac and then we were suddenly on the ground taxiing the terminal. People around us clapped, hooted, and thanked God that we arrived safely in Manila International Airport. Luckily, friends, <clears throat> friends of money pick up our luggage and insisted us to get into into the custom stole quickly and his friend for his help he left again outside the terminal building many taxis were lined up on the either side of the road waiting for passenger money picked up the taxi opened the door for me as he spoke to the driver i feel Fitted, fittering my heart, I was going to miss to miss him. He spoke, okay, Sophia, call me. If you don't, I'll come and see you anyway. You can beat on that. There was an old money making a hopefully brief appearance. Guys, uh, ito na yung guys, yung uh, uh, pag-uwi na namin sa Manila, <clears throat> ni Mr. Cervantes, uh, Tinatawag ko na siyang money. 
uh, kasi we're trying to be friend now. Uh, Pag-uwi namin sa Manila, sa airport pa lang, sa aeroplano pa lang guys, kinakabahan ako kasi alam nyo naman, I'm a very, uh, um, matakot din kasi ako sa aeroplano noon, nung mga first time ko pa lang nakasakay. Kaya, kaya, minabuti ko na sana makarating na kami ng Manila. Kaya syempre guys, ito na very excited na ako dito makauwi, ba diba? After an hour of driving, I was getting little impatient and asked the driver, Can you please drive faster? I'm tired and I would, I would like to be home quicker than this. Kasi alam nyo mga taxi guys sa Manila, ba diba, masyado silang mabagal, magpatakbo. Lalo na sa gabi, para bang... Uh, madilim at naghahanap pa ng siguro ng ibang hindi matrapit na lugar kaya parang uh, na, na ano na ako gusto ko na talaga makarating sa bahay makita ko syempre ang papa ko, yung mama ko tsaka yung mga kapatid ko, di ba? <clears throat> I'm tired and I would like to be home quicker than this. He simply nodded and I put my head out the window and was surprised to see we were here. We pass over the bridge into the into our village. The taxi stop in front of the house, which just a stone throw away from the land I bought before I leave Puma or Hong Kong. I paid the driver and waited for him to leave. I look up at the sky. The moon and the stars guided my way to the neighbor house. I rap on the door. I rap on the door, and then the old man answer. I asked him, "Where's my parents?" currently living. Sophia, is that you? I smile and let him let me in to put my shoes and coat on and then lead me to the house where my family now live. Assisting me with my luggage, my neighbors approached the door and yelled, Horatio, Miranda, your eldest daughter is here. Diba, excited, excited din ako guys na pati yung mga kapitbahay namin. Uh, uh, excited din na makita ako kaya hinatid nila ako sa bahay. I could see the light inside the house began to pop on through the window and then heard my mother inside to rush you. Our Sophia is here. Then she added, Flavio, Johanna, Chelsea, Eliza, and Ella. Tinawag na guys, lagyan yung mga kapatid ko. Um... Sabi ng kapitbahay, Horacio, yung anak niyo nandito na, si Sophia. Tapos naririnig ko yung mama ko, sabi niya, Flavio, Hannah, Chelsea, Eliza, and Ella. Your sister is home. I was overwhelmed as everyone come running up to me at once. Shouting my name repeatedly, I couldn't believe how everyone had grown for six months. Flavio was one was now as tall as I was, and Hannah was just about the same. Chelsea turned into beautiful young woman with Eliza and Ella look like young girls. My father and mother stood behind my sibling with a little girl who was fast asleep in his arm. Tapos nakita ko na guys yung papa ko, mga kapatid ko. Tapos nakita ko yung papa ko, bit 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 yung yung baby na natutulog sa kanyang uh, karga-karga niya. <clears throat> My mother hugged me as each of us cried. I looked over at my father as he held my daughter. My mother, I got lost in our embrace and with glance and with glance to my little girl. I opened my arms and my father hugged me with Holy Bella, Bella still in his arm. I love you so much. My oldest child was final, has finally come back home. Ang father ko kasi guys, very loving. Yun ang buhay pa siya. Kaya parang ako yung kanyang little girl. Kahit na ako pinakamatanda, parang ako yung pan, pang ano niya eh. Ang, kapag na, kapag nandyan ako guys, palagi kami nag-uusap ng papa ko. <clears throat> the hug made my, heart, made my heart ache from happiness. I waited for this moment for so long. I needed comfort and assurance that I was still loved. Nothing else that mattered at this moment. Love and support was all I needed for now. Holy Bella wake up and cried as if I was a stranger. Siyempre, di ba, pagdating ko, 
umiyak na yung baby ko pero hindi ko pa alam kung alam na nila talaga na baby ko yun umiyak siya tapos parang hindi niya na ako kilala di ba she missed you she said we looked into each other's eyes and i gave her a tender kiss on the little forehead she smelled so good i wiped her tears away and whisper mommy is is here now please don't cry nagbulong ako sa sa ano ng anak ko na mommy is here dito na ako please wag ka nang umiyak i entered the house as my brother brought in my luggage i handed holy bella back to my father i could see from his face the happiness he got from her i asked everyone to come around me as i open one of my carry on baggage I took some of the chocolate out and handed it to my siblings. What was left over is the wrap was saved for our neighbors in appreciation to help me get home. I handed them their chocolate as they left and said their goodbyes for the moment and I know that by tomorrow the whole town would know that I was home. Alam niyo naman guys, di ba, sa hindi naman probinsya yung San Mateo, kaya lang, alam mo man, mga kapitbahay, uh, tsaka ka, parang kami lang yung talaga yung pinakaano ng mga tao doon ba, kasi yung papa ko is uh, um, barangay captain doon, kaya ano siya eh, kilalang kilala siya, kaya sabi ko siguro pinabukasan nito lahat ng mga tao sa barangay magbibisita sa bahay. You must be tired. I will after, it was after midnight. My father said, and we'll talk more tomorrow, I'm so happy that you are home. I got up and gave each of my parents a kiss on their forehead and then handed each of them their gift, which for my father was a cast to help out. He thanked me and gave me and gave it to my mother to place in her safe. Suddenly, Plavio blottered out in, in front of everyone. We heard from some of the neighbors that you've gone abroad. Where exactly? I love to come with you sometimes. <laughs> Ito naman yung kapatid ko na lalaki. Sabi niya, alam ko naranin ko sa mga neighbors na sa abroad ka daw eh. Pa, saan, ka ba naka, na, saan ka ba nagpunta? Gusto ko talagang sumama sa'yo pagbalik mo. Sabi niya. My father raised his eyebrow. Look at me with a... <laughs> can, uh, look at me. Watching my father, I replied to my brother, you never know, maybe someday. Flavio then learned over and whisper, you went to Hong Kong, didn't you? <laughs> Binulong sa akin, sabi niya, nagpunta ka sa Hong Kong, ano? At that moment, he saw something interesting in my carry-on and snatched it, flipping and opened my father's interjected. What's that, Flavio? Please give it to me. Right now, my son. My brother, Blas and Murky handed it over i feel like i was a child again had been caught from doing something bad my father was now examining every page of my passport his eye seems to grow bigger which it's which is which it's new set of pages my heart was beating quickly i could see my father <clears throat> a mother peering over my father's shoulder with a great look of surprise on her face he looked at me Staring said, I told you she was overseas. <laughs> diba sabi ko sa inyo guys, nagpapadala ako ng sulat sa kanila in 6 months na from the Philippines na nandyan na ako sa Pilipinas na hindi ako sa abroad, diba? My mother tried to soften things. He's back now. That's the most important things. He have lots of, to talk about tomorrow. Wouldn't we, Sophia? I acted calmly but I was panicking on inside. Holy Bella motion that she wanted to get back to bed my father spoke my granddaughter wants her bed give her a kiss and take her and and take her please i smiled broadly and took her from him and only then i did it i fully comprehend what he just said my face turned ever redder and i was caught in yet another major lie Tapos sabi ng papa ko, ayan o, oh, sabi niya, my, ito yung apo ko, sabi niya, gusto nang pumunt, matulog, sabi niya, give her, halikan mo na siya para makatulog na. He smiles and touch my hand, you are my little girl, 
and I knew my own flesh and blood when I see her. <laughs> sabi ng papa ko. Nang umiti siya, sabi niya, you are, you are my little girl. You are still my little girl. And I know my own flesh and blood when I see her. We knew there is more to the story and we knew you lied to us because of your honor to our family name. I know that yes, we will have a lot of, to talk about tomorrow, Father. I hugged my father and told him that I loved him and thanked him for the being so understanding. I think the gift of money softened that blow too. My parents walked with me to the small bedroom and we placed Holy Bila in the middle of the bed. We then fastened the mosquito net over the structure. They wished me good night and asked me to close the door behind me. Ayan, siyempre, alam mo naman, ang tatay talaga, ang, alam mo, pag uh, yung anak mo talaga nagsisinungaling, minsan, siguro hindi, kasi ako magaling magsinungaling eh, nagbablas kasi guys, kaagad ako namumula, kaya nalalaman ito ng papa ko kapag ako eh, hindi nagsasabi ng totoo. <clears throat> kaya, nung nilagay ko na yung baby ko sa, sa room nila, ng papa ko kasi sila tumatabi sa baby ko eh, binigay ko na sa kanilay baby ko, at, um, uh, at uh, para makatulog na sila, sabi na sa akin, iwanan mo na yung bata dito and, dito and then close the door behind you. In the living room, my sister were sorting out the dresses that I bought for them. Love you, apologize profusely about the passport incident. And then in the same breath as about coming to Hong Kong with me for work. <clears throat> Have just finished two years of vocational school in electrical engineering. And I promised my brother that I would help him as much as I could. Sabi ko sa kapatid ko, paglabas ko, naghalungkat na yung mga kapatid ko mga babae. Kasi ano kami guys eh, lima kami babae, isang lalaki. Naghalungkat na sa mga dami. Tapos yung kapatid kong lalaki naman, ang gusto lang niya talagang uh, sabihin sa akin, na gusto niya talagang sumama sa Hong Kong. <clears throat> It's time for sleep, I said. We went into our adjoining room where there, there was a large bed and well, the king-size mattress on the floor in a far corner. My sister and I sleep in the bed while my brother took the mattress. The area was separated by blanket, by blanket which hung from the rope near the ceiling. The Petromax generator powered the house and currently the light produced getting dim. I lit the candle, placed it on the table, and tiptoed to my parents' bedroom. They were all sound asleep as my father snore. I turned to my sisters, blow the candle out, and climb into my bed and smile to myself feeling secure that my family was on my side now. I closed my eyes and quickly fall asleep. Ito guys, ha, after six months na na pag alis ko na Pilipinas, pagbalik ko guys, syempre, mimiss ko talaga yung mga magulang ko, mga kapatid ko. Uh, kaya no, mga oras na yun pagdating ko guys, para bang nabunutan ako ng tinip na nakasama ko sila muli, uh, mga kapatid ko, uh, no mga oras na yun. At, at pangiti ako sa old, ng pagkakataon guys, nakatulog ako na para bang I feel secured na nakasama ko sila. I woke up to my daughter Tiny face smiling at me, covered in chocolate. I sat, I sat right up and scooped her into my lap. She was certainly heavier than the last time I held her. She smiled and offered me a piece of the melted confectionery. I passed it on and instead I kissed her on the forehead. Kita ko pagkagising ko, pagkagan di ba napakasarap pagkagising mo na jan kagad yung anak mo. <laughs> covered with chocolate yung mukha niya tapos gusto pa ako subuan kaya sabi ko, sige sa kanya na lang yung chocolate tapos ang ginawa ko, I just kissed her instead on the forehead in the living room, my sibling had completely gone through my luggage so much for privacy they come across to the toys for Holly, Holly, Holly and my sister's Ella was only 7 years old and Holly was was unhappily played with the new playthings. 
I sat Holly on the floor with her nine-year-old aunt. When I look at about to my parents, Plavio explained that they were at the other house, the one being newly built. I went outside and could see the roof of the new house. I was called back instead help Hannah with our breakfast using the food I bought from Hong Kong. We made piece of corned beef, ham, rice with special sauce made with garlic and onion. Parang ang sarap guys, diba? Kapag yung bagong dating ka, tapos lahat ng mga kapatid mo, mama mo, papa mo, diba? Kompleto pa kayo lahat. At naandyan kayo lahat sa, sa bahay at nagtulong-tulong sa pagluluto, diba? <clears throat> it was ready. We set the table and asked Flavio to pitch my parents for our first family breakfast in six months. While he did that, I took a quick spray off of my parents' shower and fresh up. It was nice feeling not to have worry about many money constantly trying to lay me lie me over he saw me before and after shower. I returned to the table and I dried my, my hair and realized that everyone was now seated patiently waiting for me. I wrapped a towel around my head and sat across my father. There was barely any elbows room at our little round table. Marami kasi kami guys eh. Kaya maliit lang naman yung mesa namin. Mesa namin. Nakaupo kami lahat doon sa palibot ng mesa. Parang elbow to elbow na kami ganyan na kami doon kakain. Kaya kahit na masikip ang bahay. Maliit lang kaya guys bahay namin dati guys, uh, guys eh. Nung paghalit, pagpunta ko ng Hong Kong ano lang siya. Uh, isang bedroom lang. Tapos yung isang bedroom ay eh, nakaseparate lang nga. Yung kortina namin ay ano lang eh. Parang kumot. O di ba? Kaya, hindi naman kami talagang nagsumikap na talaga ako guys na makaahon kami sa hirap nung nasa Hong Kong na ako. <clears throat> we automatically bowed our head and my father spoke, Bless this food today and bless this family forever and thank you for bringing my daughter back to our home safely. Amen. We all said amen and then dug into the wonderful smelling food. Everyone was happy and enjoyed the piping hot breakfast. And even Holly, she picked certain things from her my, ma, from my mother's plate. I now knew that I never had to worry about leaving her again. Everyone was laughing and having a great time. Para kami mga, para bumalik ng pagkabata ako uli. Kasama ko yung mga kapatid ko ng mga oras na yun. After we finished my father my after we finished my father asked me to go and have a walk with him we went outside to the tiny cottage i sat on the swing he built for holy bella while he sat sat next to me on the bench <clears throat> next to me on the bench the morning sun was warm on our face on our faces as he spoke the last time i look at you like this was when you were just 16 years old. Where did the eight years goes by? Parang naalala, parang papa ko ng first time niya akong parang nakasama ng ganito 16 years ago. 16 years old pa lang ako. I shook my head like an innocent little girl and he continued to speak from his heart. I want you to know how precious you are to me and to your mother you'd been raised to know and love god and we can see you practicing that you possess lots of love in your heart forgiveness sincerity servitude honesty and you know when to lie to protect the people you love although we didn't know all the facts your mother and i understand your desire to keep holy parentage a secret your actions speak louder than words, my daughter. Siyempre, ang tatay talaga, di ba? Uh, ang tatay ko kasi, ang papa ko kasi teacher yun eh. Kaya, he is a very understanding person. Kaya lang, siyempre, uh, kahit gaano man ang kasalanan ko siguro noon, talagang hindi siguro ako matiis ng papa ko. Kasi siyempre, I'm the first born, I'm the first born, born child. Tsaka, I know, from, from the beginning, from, Childhood, wala ako talagang naalala na ako ay pinalo ng papa ko. 
He took a deep breath and continued, You're too much, you're too much love in your heart for many wonderful things. And you will meet many different kind of people through life. I only hope that you believe in yourself as me and your mother do. And realize how wonderful you are. You have become a beautiful young woman. And as your father, remember that I am always here for you. That love will, that love will never change, not until the last breath of my lungs. To you, your brother and your sister. Parang nakakaiyak guys, di ba? Parang inassure ako ng father. Ano kaya ito nang mangyari? Uh, mahal kita at uh, alam ko, makakakitagpo ka pa na maraming mga iba-ibang tao sa buhay mo. Uh, pinapaalala ko lang sa iyo na believe in yourself. Magtiwala ka sa sarili mo. As me, as your father, sabi niya. <clears throat> and, and you have to realize, realize na napakabuti mong tao, sabi niya sa akin. Na at lumaki ka, pinanganak kang napakagandang bata at lumaki kang napakagandang dalaga. Ngayon, sabi niya sa akin, you have a beautiful, you, have, you become a beautiful woman. As your father, remember that I'm always here for you, sabi niya. Lumaki ka na, magandang bata, magandang uh, dalaga, at ngayon sabi niya, maganda ka ng babae. Uh, hindi ka na dalaga, ano na, I'm, you are a woman. <clears throat> that love will never change, not until the last breath of my lung, to you, your brother, and your sister. Sabi niya, pagmamahal ko sa inyo ng kapatid mo, Uh, sa kapatid mo lalaki, sa mga bunso mong kapatid, sabi niya, uh, mawawala lang daw yun kapag siya ay wala na dito sa mundo. He seems relieved to have gotten this off his chest and added, para bang nawalan ba siya guys na kikita ko pa yung ano ng papa ko na, para bang siyempre malakit sa, masakit sa dibdib niya yung mga sinabi niya, but para siyang naalisa ng tinik nung nabanggit niya yun. He seems relieved to have gotten this off his chest and added, I want you to look deep into your heart to the things you have done over over your life and now I am, now that I don't blame you for anything. I know that you did your best at the time. Sabi niya. Kaya sabi ng papa ko, hindi kita sinisisi sa mga nangyari. Sabi niya sa akin, alam ko na ginawa mo yung Uh, lahat ng mga kakaya mo at magagawa mo para niya sa abi sa akin uh, at hindi kita sinisisi sa mga nangyari sa buhay mo sabi ng papa ko I know that you that you did your best at that time my father began to cry and it tore my heart apart I hugged him and told him how much I loved him as well and I promised him that I would always be here for him and my mother and my sibling ay nangako ako sa papa ko guys na naiyak na naman ako guys nangako ako sa papa ko na na mahal ko siya at uh, palagi akong tutulong sa kanila sa mga kapatid ko at sa kanya habang ako'y nabubuhay dito sa mundo o ba? Diba? we stood and began to walk arm in arm to the house that he built he was building for us he held his arm tightly and said I'm sorry for what happened to me But I now I knew it would it is the will of God and I accept it with all my heart and thank you for forgiveness and completely understanding father I love you with all my heart. Kaya habang naglakad kami ng father ko nakaganon ako sa kanya. Uh, sabi ko sa kanya nagpasalamat ako. Nagpasalamat ako at uh, and I'm sorry but I know uh, ito ay kagagawan po ito ng Panginoon na I will accept it and thank you nagpasalamat ko sa papa ko with his forgiveness and with his understanding uh, and uh, sanabi ko sa kanya I love you uh, with all my heart and for being there for me he smiled though and with tears your mother and I will always love you you shed many tears when you left home And you are a very ambitious woman. I know that you could, you could not, you can and can't do. I cried and laughed. 
sabi ng papa ko, I'm, ako daw ang very ambitious woman. Hello? Hello, B? Oh, why? Okay. Ah? Ah, wala ah. Ina okay. Inaayos ko lang, nagla-live ako ngayon. Tawagan kita anak, pagtapos na ako. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Sorry guys, naputol, naudlot. Sabi ng papa ko, uh, smile through, he smile through, through his tears. Your mother and I will always love you. And we shed tears, we shed many tears when you left home. You are a very ambitious woman, we know. And I know what you want and you don't want in life. I cried and then laughed. He looked at me and then... And then, and the same, I feel quite relaxed for the first time in a long time. Siyempre, ang tatay talaga. Ako kasi, noon guys, talaga ang hirap talaga ng buhay namin din noon. Kaya, talagang nangarap ako talaga na gagawa ako ng paraan. Gagawa ako ng paraan para makatulong ako sa mga kapatid ko. Uh, at sa pamilya ko guys. Okay? My mother carried Holly, Holly and joining us, saying, What are you two convincing out there? And under the hot sun, we give her a recap and we journeyed over to the new house that my brother is building for us. Guy, hanggang dito na lang, guys, kasi ano ah. Uh, I gonna, uh, I gonna read to you again. Uh, tomorrow at this part para ma excited naman kayo guys okay and uh, dito na tayo sa naka uwi na ako guys napapunta na kami sa bahay uh, bukas ko na guys ipagpatuloy ulit guys okay thank you guys very much and I love you and uh, and I'll see you again soon tomorrow okay bye bye love you